It's great that you're here because we are gathered to talk about pie. We're going to introduce pie, not apple pie or any other sort of pie, but the mathematical concept of pie. And um, to some of you, perhaps that symbol looks a little bit scary, yeah? But it's just a Greek letter. Anyway, ancient Greek, I'm not sure if they still use it. And you pronounce it as P-I, pie, or perhaps you want to put an E there, I'm not sure, I'm Dutch, yeah? But pie, anyway, pie, apple pie. Okay, and if you have to write that symbol yourself, it's nothing more than two sticks and a little roof on top of those two sticks, yeah? So two sticks and a little roof there. Uh, slightly curved, which is the symbol pi. And it's a very important symbol because every time, yeah, when we are talking about pi, then we are talking about circles, yeah? It could be the circumference of a circle, yeah? It could be the area of a circle, but we're talking about circles. And this video, I'm going to introduce pi, I'm gonna show you what it is, and I am absolutely confident that at the end, all of you, including those who are a little bit intimidated now perhaps, or already decided that they don't understand. Now all of you at the end of this video will actually realize, hey, one minute, Pi is not something to be scared of, it's actually here to help us, okay? Trust me on that one. <clears throat> what did I do? I drew three circles for you, and um, and using those circles, stay there, yeah, we're going to have a look at what pi is. Now the smallest circle has a diameter of three centimeters, yeah? So if I just draw the diameter, which is that line through the midpoint from one side of the circumference to the other side, you see that? And um, this medium-sized circle has a diameter of, let's say, five centimeters. And diameters do not necessarily have to be horizontal, eh? I mean, the length of the diameter is equal regardless how you draw it. As long as it goes through the midpoint, I will do it horizontally here to uh, from one side of the circumference to the other side. Okay. So the diameter for my smaller circle is three centimeters. The diameter of my medium sized circle equals to five centimeters. And my largest circle has a diameter at uh, the length of that line is nine centimeters. All right. Now if I would want to find out the perimeter of uh, my circle, yeah? so the length of the outside, yeah? then I could take one of these flexible measuring tapes, you know that, you know those uh, tailors they use yeah? to measure clothes. Yeah? So if I take one of those flexible measuring tapes, I will find out that the circumference of my smaller circle, let me write it down here, that the circumference of my smaller circle is going to be 9.5 four centimeters, eh? correct it to one um, decimal place, eh? to the millimeters, eh? because I'm only human, I can't do that super accurately, can I? Eh? But 9.4 centimeters is quite accurate. And if I would do the same for that medium sized circle, eh? with a flexible measuring tape, I'll find a circumference, eh? so the length of the outside of a circle with a diameter of five centimeters is going to be 15.7 centimeters. Again, one decimal place, the millimeters, okay? And the largest circle, take your measuring tape when it has a diameter of nine centimeters, the circumference is going to be 28.3 centimeters. All right, now that's very nice, but we're not talking about pi yet, yeah? But I'll show you how that relates. I'm just gonna take a different sheet and I have written that information on this sheet. Eh? So again, the circumference of my smaller circle was 9.4. The diameter was three centimeters. Yeah, of my medium sized circle, the circumference 15.7, diameter of five. My larger circle had a circumference of 28.3 centimeters. The diameter is nine. And how does that relate? Well, if I would divide the circumference by my diameter here, that equals, now let me take my calculator, yeah? If I do 9.4 divided by the diameter, three, that equals to 3.1, and then I have a lot of threes on my screen, yeah? Okay, it just continues, those threes, okay? Where is he going to? Let's do the same here. Let's do that circumference, and we'll divide it by that diameter, 15.7 divided by five, yeah, that's also three something, isn't it? 15 divided by five is three, so a little bit more than three. Let's see, what does my calculator tell me? 3.14, it says. 
finished. So exactly 3.14. Well, that is not exactly the same, but it's quite close. And the reason why it's not exactly the same is because I measured it to one decimal place and eh, to one millimeter. Okay, well, what about this one? Is that also about three point something then? Let's have a look. The circumference of my largest circle, 28.3, divide that by its diameter, 9, is going to give me, hang on a minute, that's interesting, 3.1. Four, 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 and that continues. Now, what is the point I'm trying to make? These numbers, so the circumference divided by the diameter, the circumference divided by the diameter, that is pi. And because I have rounded it all the time, these numbers are a little bit differently. But pi, and you do not have to remember this, yeah, but pi equals to, well, we have to say roughly equals to, because we don't know what it exactly equals to, but roughly, if you go to your calculator, yeah, sorry, I'll show you, from mine here at the bottom, shift and then that standard form button, I see the symbol pi, um, sorry, I have to be able to use a calculator, yeah, those are the decimals, it roughly equals to 3.14159265.4, my calculator tells me, but it goes on and on and on and on. And that's what I just found out myself. Well, almost at 3.14, at 3.1444, 3.13. So I'd almost equal, yeah, and that only doesn't equal exactly to that number because I rounded my circumference to one decimal place, okay? So pi is a number. Pi is a number. Which number is it? We don't know exactly, but we know it pretty close. We know it thousands and thousands, millions even, of decimal places, yeah? And pi is, if you have the circumference and you divide it by the diameter, then you'll be given pi. Yes, that's very nice. But how is that useful? Now go to the videos on the circumference of circles, yeah, how to calculate the circumference of a circle, and go to the videos of how to find the area of a circle, and then you'll find out that we're gonna use that number, because pi is a number, we're gonna use that number all the time. So it's here to help you. Go to the next video and find out more.